what's up it's Monica and welcome back to my channel today's video is all about home we are doing fall home content and I'm so excited to share some of the fabulous pieces that I got for my house for fall um this is really my first time doing a fall home kind of you know thingy I would say you know I really never decorated my home for fall in general I've done a lot of Christmas stuff and whatnot but I decided to do something different it's a new home we love the home there's so much light um, so I figured why not add a little sense of fall to the home so this video is all about the fun little knickknacks that I got um, to kind of add that sense of fall to the home so I'm super excited to share with you guys but before we jump into the video if this is your first time visiting make sure you subscribe to my channel because this channel is all about home fashion and all that good stuff um, so yeah subscribe hit the notification button so you never miss a video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up I would highly appreciate it so without further ado let's get into the video all right so starting with um, dinnerware I did these beautiful gray plates and white plates as well. They kind of have speckles in them. Um, I thought they were really cool and a great way to update my all-white dinnerware to, you know, this beautiful gray color. It adds interest. I also did these beautiful brown chargers. I think they're really fun and perfect for fall. Um, as well as, um, I added some white napkins just, you know, since I added the darker gray, I wanted to do something different. And this placemat, which is really cool, it's actually two-sided and it's felt. Um, I thought it was a fun way to add, you know, fall leaves to my table set. Love these pieces. So you'll see that gray and white vibe with all the dinnerware, so including my jugs and my mugs and um, bigger plates. I just thought it was a great way to create, you know, to add dark colors basically, but still accent them with some white, lighter colors. So all my um, dinnerware is basically gray and white now, and I love this for fall. Then moving on to flatware, um, I've always had all silver, but this time around I decided to do black and silver. I love the black cutlery, like it is so cool in my opinion. I think it's really, really cool. Love the contrast. I would say the general vibe for, you know, my dinnerware and flatware is, you know, having contrasting colors and just complementing the two. And I love it. I love these pieces. So this is my first time adding pumpkin anything to my home and I don't know what took me so long. These pumpkin, honey pumpkin candles are everything. They actually come with this little woven case so you can actually use them for other candles. I think it's just such a really cool way to add a neutral color and an element of fall to your table setting or anywhere in the house. So I not only have these candles on the table right now, but I also have them throughout the house and I love them. Moving on to this reef, oh, this reef is beautiful. Like I said, I try to keep my home very minimal, but this reef was, there's just something about it that has a subtlety to it, but at the same time, it makes a really big impact. I love all the colors, I love the detail. It does leave a little bit of a mess, but we tend to clean it up and keep it moving, so I love it, love it, love it. Then the pumpkins. Guys, I've never had pumpkins in my house. I always thought it was just like, yeah. But now I'm obsessed. I have pumpkins everywhere and you'll see. This pumpkin, also a subtlety to it. I love the detail, but it pops out. Like it really makes an impact. And even without having all the plates and all the, the flatware and everything on the table, I still have the wreath and the pumpkins and the candles. And I love it. It's just such a really cool centerpiece. And I kind of, you know, I layered the two and I love it. On to the runner. The runner, um, there's a lot of blues and grays in the house, so I use the runner to kind of tie into the rest of the house. It still has a lot of the neutrals that are um, on the table as well as in the home, so I think it's just a great way to, you know, add an element of fall and just tie everything together really well. And it also ties this space with the rest of the home, so I love the runner. I 
told you guys I went a little pumpkin cuckoo. I actually really, really love these pumpkins. Um, I ended up giving one away because I thought she was such an odd number in this space. So I only have one now, but we started with the two. Um, and I think it's fun. I like the look of it. And I think it's just a fun little piece to have in that little corner. So if you watched my kitchen video, you know that I was meant to keep my kitchen counters very clean and add nothing, but my husband agreed, we both agreed to add a little bit of fall to the kitchen. So we added this beautiful silver detailed pumpkin to kind of tie in with the silver appliances. I really love this pumpkin. It's got, you know, the silver maple leaf detail and I just think it's really cool and it's really subtle. I backed it up with these, um, cutting board slash cheese boards just to add a little bit of you know that earthy wood element to the space as well and I think threes look better in general when on display even though I know what the coffee maker makes for but it kind of you know everything is just it balances itself out so it looks really good in the space and I love it okay so for the living room I didn't do much but we did add a pumpkin I love this pumpkin it's from Mackenzie Child I adore it I just love the detail it also has black and white which you'll see a lot in my home if you've seen my other home videos you'll notice that but just look at the detail of this pumpkin like it is amazing there's like flowers in it um and I just thought it was so cool it is glass so it's a bit more fragile and um, my living room really doesn't need a lot so I just have that one piece and that's it So my pumpkins continue into my office. At first I didn't know what to do with these pumpkins, but they are absolutely perfect in my office. They look excellent. I'm obsessed, literally. Love the black and white. It looks great against my marble lamp. Um, and it just fits well with the overall vibe of my office. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it in some of my videos in the background, but it just looks really, really good. Love the gold detail on the pumpkin. So that really allows it to just kind of blend in with the little hints of gold that you see here and there in the office and then all the white. So love these pumpkins. I think they're a subtle but effective way to add fall and Halloween and all of that good stuff to a space that is very minimal and modern. So for the master, I added this beautiful pumpkin. It's so pretty because it's like jewelry. I actually really love this pumpkin. Also from Mackenzie Child. I know I haven't mentioned everything, but all the details for all these little um, pieces that I'm showcasing will be in the description box. But this pumpkin is beautiful. It fits right in. So not a lot. This is the only pumpkin in the space. And then we went to the bedding. I normally have white sheets, white linen sheets all year round, but I added this very light gray and this beautiful throw that I love. This is from Target from their Castelluna line. I actually did a collaboration with them. Um, and I was able to input some of the pieces in my bedroom to kind of, you know, create a lot relaxing vibe. Love the pillow, um, the sham cases. Love the linens. Honestly, these linens are amazing. I love them. And onto my washroom. I did their waffle towels. I kind of taking that thing from the dining room in, you know, the black and white or the gray and white rather. And I love this in the washroom. It totally gives a very spa vibe that I love. Um, also the foot mats, I love these. They are so good. And you know what, with all like the water and whatnot, they absorb really well. They look great in the space. A great neutral. Um, absolutely love the pieces from this collection, guys. Like you need to check out my post because I talk a little bit more about the collection. Also some nice light gray um, towels. Like I said, I normally have white everything, but you know, it's fall. So I updated a lot of my whites with like grays and dark grays. And 
And then, you know, the diffusers and the scents from the collection. It's a great collection. Make sure you guys check out the post because, yeah, pretty cool. But yes, that's what I did with my washroom. That's how I updated and I love it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fall home decor haul. Which piece was your favorite? Do you have any tips for me? Um, let me know with your comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button so you never miss a video because my channel is all about fashion, home, and all that good stuff. So subscribe to the channel and until next time, bye guys. Thanks for watching.